bit on this. You've tapped here and you've made it come out of here. Now, that's not sticking to our opposites thing, is it? That's not sticking to our opposites. If we've hit it here and we're allowing it to come out of here, we're not doing the opposite. Because if we're hitting into here, we really want it to come back through this way as well. So your next stage of practice, again for safety, is just to put your hand on here and hold it. So that when you tap here, you get, you give a number. Um, four. Four. Okay, again, less power and you get a little bit more effect because you're holding it in. So that still isn't applying our opposites law because we're not hitting here at the same time as we're hitting here. So I'll do the purpose of line here, is obviously we're going to hit here and hit here at the same time. So you get like a different effect entirely. And the number on that is <laughs> okay, so four. again you see it for <laughs> one. So you see these different effects from adding in these opposites that we've already spoken about. So to recap here and the opposite here. I won't be obviously. And you connect them together, just like clapping your hands. Now if you're in close with somebody and you're in here, you could have your head off and tap and start to go to work. You could be holding the back of their head and headbutt there to make it work. You could be back here and pull them into you and activate both these sides, then throw the headbutt or elbow, whatever it is that you do. You don't have to hit them bang on together. A little bit of a delay is fine. As long as you hit them, it doesn't matter. All right? But for the very best effect at low, low power levels, not like this in training, almost simultaneous will give you what you're looking for. Now, if you can get that in a real situation, then they're going to drop real fast, real quick.